Jim Flaherty has resigned as finance minister of Canada. And I think one part of his legacy will be an incredible amount of spending in order to pull Canada out of an economic recession beginning around 2008. He'll also be remembered as somebody who has brought back uh, Canada into a surplus. So I think uh, the next year or so, Canada will be in a surplus situation. That is uh, a part of his legacy that he is very proud of. And uh, politically, uh, Jim Flaherty is the only finance minister that conservatives or that this conservative government has ever really known. So uh, there is a, a very big hole to fill here, and it comes at a pretty crucial time for Stephen Harper. In terms of who could actually fill uh, Jim Flaherty's shoes, uh, I would say, and I think most people uh, in Ottawa would agree, that uh, the bench is, is, is a little bit short. I mean, uh, there are no longer the Jim Prentices and the David Emersons that uh, used to be part of the Conservative Party. So what does that leave us with? Uh, it probably leaves us with uh, four or five people who could um, who could jump into this role. I think one of those people is Joe Oliver. Uh, he has a background on Bay Street, which I think is crucial for some instant credibility. Another person could be Jason Kenney. Uh, he's recently um, got a big win on an economic file in terms of, uh, of getting a jobs grant uh, deal with the provinces. A third uh, possibility could be James Moore or John Baird, although John Baird uh, would be an odd choice considering all that he's juggling in the world right now. And I would argue that uh, you know, a potential uh, outlier could be somebody like Tony Clement, who's also handled uh, a financial file.